All right, welcome back. This will be the final video in the terrains. Little short that I'm going to do real quick. Um, in the last one, we made the material that we're going to be painting. And in fact, I just messed up a little bit. You can see a little black there. But we set up the, we set everything up so that we could paint onto our texture. Now, if you want, real quick, uh, we're going to actually paint something on this. We're going to select our grass. You see none in there, but you should make sure that you have the grass in there for some reason. It says I have it, but I actually, or it says I don't have it, but it is actually in there. Uh, you can tell that one by the black that it's painting on there. So we're just going to go ahead and repaint this grass onto there real quick. What's causing it is there's no base paint information for the, the base, for the layer. So just by really quickly painting the grass layer onto it again, you're defining that that base paint layer so that it knows, okay, well, this is what I'm going to paint if there's nothing on this layer. So now we're going to add our mountain. Well, I don't want the brush to be that big. Let's drop them down to 300. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. And I'm going to start painting. Now, it will go gray like this when you first start painting a one of the component blocks. I'm not 100% sure why it does that, actually. I'm guessing it has something to do with the shaders. As you can see, it compiled them there. But once you do that, you can just work on it. And it'll bleed through because we have it set to a blend. So it'll bleed through it. and You can slowly paint it in there. It'll make it look all nice and neat. You know, and you can do that in several different areas. Get it nice and good in there. And now I'm gonna pause the video real quick. I'm gonna finish painting this up, and then we'll continue. Welcome back. I'm now just finishing my finishing touches, and I wanted to go ahead and point out one other thing real quick. Um, when you're doing your paints, you have your brush size, your brush fall off. But you also have this nice little tool strength here. And you can see as I'm painting, it kind of just fades through a little bit, but the more you go over it, the more it comes through. So if you want to just get it a nice hard crisp, you can just change your tool strength, and you can see more of it comes through at once. In fact, like if you look over here, we'll raise this up to, say, 10. And then you can see a nice hard crisp terrain comes through. Or if you want to put it to 5. Now, if you ever want to, while still selecting the, the thing, if you ever want to unpaint a section, just hit Control. Or is it Shift? It's Shift, not Control. My apologies. And you can, like, remove a section of it that you would, I don't know. You would have to select the previous thing, because for some reason it's not working for me. I don't know why, but it's not. But you would just paint over it, and then you could just kind of paint it back in there if you wanted to. Yeah, just make it look nice and neat and all. And that's, whoops, that's how you would do the painting. Came out looking good there. Looks nice. But now let's say we want to put in like a little underground entrance to a room right here. All right. Well, you cannot use subtractive brushes. Like if you wanted to come up here to the build and add a BSP add a box in there somewhere and you know, drag this on down here to where it's in the terrain yeah you, know, you couldn't just drag this over here and then put it change it on its details to subtractive you know it subtracts the box but you can see it does not subtract the terrain so how do you do that well this is how we go back to our content browser in our materials folder, we're going to make a new material. In fact, we're just going to take the landscape material we had and we're going to duplicate it. Now, we're going to leave it the same name, but between landscape and mat, I'm going to put in, I'm just going to put in viz. Because that, that lets me know, you can name it whatever you want. That just lets me know that this is my visibility controller. Okay. Now, with that being set up there we need to change a few things so go ahead and open up that material and everything should look the same as it did in the other one okay but we need to change the root of this material so you would make sure you select the root where everything's plugged into all right make sure you're on the details panel 
And right here under blend mode, you want to make sure you're selected mask. What that's going to do is it's going to be like, if you're wearing a mask at a costume and it's covering your face, that's pretty much the same premise here. You're going to remove the mask and whatever's below it is what you're going to see. In this case, it'll be the terrain itself is the mask and you're going to remove the terrain and see what's below it. Okay, And you only have to do one thing to this. All right, You're going to right click in the graph. You're going to type in layer okay. and you should have actually come up oh my apologies it's not layer it's landscape and you see visibility mask all right so you just pull that up and connect that to opacity mask which opacity mask came up because we switched the blend mode to masked all right so you can save it let it save there So while that's saving, you never want to change your base material that you use for your landscape to have this visibility mask in it. It will actually cause errors that I have found in the past. So it's just safer to make two materials, one that controls visibility and one that controls the actual textures on the, the terrain itself. So we can go ahead and close out of both of those terrains. I don't know, or landscapes. I don't know why I had the other one open. But now we're going to do the same thing we did in the last video when we applied the, the terrain or the material. We're going to select our material. We're going to select our terrain. Go to our details panel. But this time we're going to put this material in the landscape whole material. So we go ahead and put that in there and we can see it's in there nice and neat. All right. Now with that being said, what we want to do is we actually want to be able to paint it. All right. But in the landscaping tools, it's actually slightly different. All right. And what you are going to do, uh, sorry, I'm also reading over some notes I have just to make sure I get this right. Okay. So you would just go back to your landscape mode, have your paint. And you should just be able to, whoops, wrong thing. You want to go to Sculpt and go down here to Visibility. And then let it compile the shaders. Now notice it's got a lot more shaders than before. Because it's not only doing shaders on the grass, the grass and rock texture there, but also on the texture of the mountainside here that we have, the rock face, as well as the part that we just cut out of this terrain right here that is actually compiling right now for us. And as you can see there, we now have a hole in our terrain. All right. Now if we wanted to put that back, I would just simply hold the shift key and it paints back in there. But like I said, I want to carve out this right here, so we just carve that out a little bit. There. Let's go ahead and put that one there back actually. Whoops. There. So now we have a nice little hole in our landscape and if we were to play this level okay and we walk over to it you can see we can shoot through it but we can't shoot well I can't shoot through the terrain but well I have it destroying as soon as it hits something but you can see that we can shoot through it but yet if I shoot the terrain right next to it you don't see anything and you can fall through it too and then you'll hit it you'll die and that'll be that. If you're interested in that respawn feature that just happened or anything else you see on the screen, the mini map, the health bar, the ammo counts there, the, the fact that when I run out of ammunition, that 15, I have to reload the weapon. You can see my previous tutorial videos. I set all of that up in those videos. They're labeled accordingly if you're looking for certain sections. So that handles our landscaping setup right now. I've shown you pretty much the basics. It covers the painting of it, the visibility masks of it. It covers the creating of it. Um, I might do one later dealing with the physic material, such as like if you wanted to add footsteps to your character walking or whatever the case may be like that. However, there are some pretty, pretty well and in-depth videos out there already on YouTube 
that do cover that stuff so I may I may not need to do that or may not actually go about doing that but as far as the landscape material that or landscaping tutorials that'll be it I am working on making a artificial intelligence tutorial which is I'm gonna be working on in the next couple of days so if you're interested in seeing about the artificial intelligence stuff please stay tuned and check back